here's how I color graded this rap video that went viral on social media. Why they act like they don't know me? Lucky on pull up like the old me. When I was younger, all I wanted was some gold teeth. Get respect like I saw from the OG. Okay, now I'm here in Premiere Pro. You can see that we have our clips here. So I'm gonna grab our audio here of our song and just throw it in there. And then here's my raw footage. So I have one take that's a wider shot here. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop it in. And then I have my other take, which is just a close up. They're all just one takes. One's a wide shot, one's a tighter shot. Um, usually I'll use the wide shot for like an establishing shot and then I'll use the tighter shot for just close ups. And then you switch back, you could cut back and forth between the video just to keep it engaging for viewers. So there's my wide shot and then I'm gonna go to a tight, my tight shot, drag them both in here. Okay, now here's a pro tip if you don't know. On Premiere Pro, you can automatically sync your footage if your audio is clear enough. So here's my song and here's my camera footage of my two takes stacked on top of each other. I'm just gonna highlight everything here, right click, and then I'm gonna use the synchronize button and then synchronize clips. Make sure you go audio track channel and put mix down. What that's gonna do is sync your footage for you and your audio is gonna be perfectly synced. And you can see if I play it back, our footage is going to be completely in sync with our audio. So, so I'm going to go ahead and start with our establishing shot here. And I'm just going to come back and forth between the takes. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag this here. So usually I'll just cut to the B like this. Okay, so now that I have the clip cut up to my liking, um, I have my wide shot and then I have my close up tighter shot. And now we're just gonna go and color grade it using the Lumetri color panel. If you don't have the Lumetri color panel, just go to window and then select Lumetri color and it should pop up. Now this is where we can color grade. Um, Premiere Pro does have an auto color feature, but in my experience, it doesn't really work too well. If I hit auto here, it's gonna try to do some, but nothing really happens. Um, if I were to color grade this without using any LUTs, and I would probably up the saturation, up the contrast, crush the blacks, shadows, and basically just play here in the Lumetri color panel and just get your footage selecting how you would like. So this is me just making a, some quick basic edits to the correction. And you can see there's already a big difference here in the footage. I'm gonna show you how I color graded the footage personally using this instant film LUT pack. Um, these are some LUTs that I put together just from my years of experience of just shooting uh, rap performance videos and just giving that filmic vintage film look vibe. For this one, I used Gotham Green. And this one has kind of like a greenish teal preset applied to it already. And we can play with the intensity sliders here to get it to our liking. Usually I don't go past 100. Um, sometimes I'll have to even crank it uh, down a bit depending on the LUT. But I'm gonna go to basic correction here and then we're just gonna up our contrast slider and then go to our blacks. And then our shadows here, we're just gonna bring them down. Uh, sometimes the easiest way to start off too is just to up your saturation to see how your footage is looking. So for this one, I do want very warm and green tint vibes to give it that vintage feel. So I'll just play with the color correction. I'll try to watch the skin tone. And give it like that green little tint hue to it. And then I'm gonna up just the highlights a bit and the whites. Crush the blacks a little more. And then just go ahead and play with it to your liking. Like I'm gonna put the color up to 250. Um, here's a little pro tip on Premiere Pro if you don't know. You can actually go past the 200 range. You could type it in or you could just click and drag here. Um, but I'm gonna go with 250 here. And you can see just by clicking and toggling off this effects button, you can see our clip already looks. That's already a drastic change to our, to our clip here. And then all, all I can do is just copy it and I could paste the attributes um, to this clip as well. And then boom, I have it right here on this clip as well. 
So yeah, that's how I color graded the clip and what we can do to spice it up even more. If we want to add that filmic vintage vibe to it, we can add some halation and bloom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate our clip here. And then I'm going to apply the film halation. Go ahead and drag that on and then change the blend mode to lighten. And you're going to see you're going to have like those red edges and that red glow. What you can do to make it more intense is just to go to the red blurriness and you could just crank that up and then you can see and play around with how much blur and red that you want on your clip. So I'm gonna keep it calm just with what the preset has applied on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it once more and add the film bloom. And it's gonna give us that glow effect on our footage. So I'm just gonna render that out. This is how our clip looks with those effects applied. And it looks insane just from that. So this is the before and this is the after. I will say, make sure you go ahead and apply these uh, two effects last on your footage after you're done cutting it up because it might take a moment to render completely on your footage. So I would go ahead and apply these effects last. Just by using these LUTs, they save me countless hours of color grading footage manually. So I definitely recommend it. If you feel like this video provided you value, go ahead and subscribe to the channel where I'm gonna be uploading more videos that break down my editing workflow similar to this one.